Okay. Um, next um, section is a little bit about project management. So when you're designing and developing a non-trivial technical system, there are three things that are very, very closely related. Functionality, which is, you know, how complex the, its behavior is, the quality of the system and the cost are all connected, they're all linked, okay? So basically, if you change one, at least one of the others has to move. So if you want more functionality, either you pay for it or you decrease quality. If you want more quality, you are either going to have increased cost or decreased functionality. And if you want to reduce the costs, you've either got to decrease the functionality or decrease the quality. That's why I say they are, it's an unbreakable iron triangle. They're all linked. You can't, you can't change one without changing uh, at least one of the others. Now, in this sort of industrial world, the, the vast majority of projects proceed on the basis that cost can be reliably estimated in, in advance. You know, people oh. produce, sorry? Oh, oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but it's a delusion, okay? Every single project I've ever worked on in 40 years, the initial Gantt chart which says, you know, this is when we're gonna complete all these things, it, 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 it lasts at most a week before it's out of date and wrong. they're always wrong, okay? It is, um, so there's this law called Hofstadter's law, which always, always applies. It always takes longer than you think, even when you take into account Hofstadter's law, okay? Um, so all non-trivial projects always take longer than the original guess. Um, and in reality, projects are finished when they're finished. I mean, you know, it takes a certain amount of effort to, to build something to a certain level of quality and it's going to take that long no matter what you do. Um, now, a lot of commercial organisations, of course, because of the way they're organised, they quite often enforce hard deadlines. So they kind of, they make an estimate of how long they think it's going to take and then they enforce it even when the project overruns or they try to enforce it, okay? And because of the unbreakable iron triangle, well, either function or quality, functionality or quality has to be sacrificed, okay? And politically, it's easier to sacrifice quality because it's kind of invisible, right? You can, you can make, you can cut corners on quality you can maybe not do a design iteration. You can not, you, you, write, you know that you should backtrack and throw some bit of design away and, and change it with another one. But if you, if you don't do that, if you don't do that other iteration, well, all that's gonna happen is the machine is gonna be, your system is gonna be suboptimal in some way uh, further down the line. And it might be years uh, before the problems start emerging. And also, the, the, the managers that made that decision, they're not gonna be connected to it anymore. You see, so it's really, really easy to cut quality, to sacrifice quality, because it's invisible. You can get away with it. Um, obviously, quite often people cut functionality as well. Um, so, you know, probably the best project I've ever seen managed 75% functionality. Um, um, that, but this is this is the reality, and the the danger is cutting quality, especially in AGI safety. Remember, so when you embark on a technical project like ours, you have to decide in advance when you come to these hard decisions which are functionality, cost, quality, and cost are fixed, and which are flexible. Which can you sacrifice? Um, when things take longer than you had hoped. Uh, now, it's not normal for the fate of all, of ma all mankind for all eternity to rest on the outcome of a project, but in our case, <laughs> this is the reality. With AGI, okay, uh, I discussed this in the first talk, because by definition, an AGI has maximal cognition 
along all cognitive dimensions and it has basically one of those dimensions is experience meaning knowledge meaning meaning it knows everything we know including everything about computer science and artificial intelligence and how it's built okay and it's smarter than us okay so once you built it that's it you will never put the genie back in the bottle because it's smarter than you and it can self-replicate in everything so what you what we build when we build a agi one way or another either through this project or agi by stealth that is that determines the fate of mankind for the rest of eternity <laughs> okay <laughs> um so for that reason the big mother project is quality driven it's quality not cost that um has priority okay and this is unusual this is this is not normal in the engineering world okay normally cost has priority but in agi because the the potential consequences are so unimaginable we have to um make quality and safety and benevolence and trustworthiness but it's essentially quality quality um uh, our priority so we 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 specify the quality requirements uh, and the quality requirements are essentially that the the target behavior is satisfied and um it doesn't matter how much time is required uh so if it if it takes if it takes an extra 200 years or whatever uh we have to allow it to take that time. I, I don't think it will take an extra 200 years, um, but I, I'm just saying quality takes precedence over everything. I mean, the benefits of AGI, you know, are virtually immeasurable. I mean, they'll probably, uh, by my estimate, uh, AGI will amplify um, uh, gross world project uh, ancestral product yeah it's uh, um, a global G uh, GDP so gross world, gross world product I think it's called by an order of magnitude that's 800 trillion dollars a year um, you know the, the potential benefits are vast um, so you know who cares if it costs 10 billion dollars to uh, implement rather than 5 billion relative to the potential benefits it's chicken feed and and also relative to the pe potential consequences you know the, the terminator scenario or or other scenarios which are possibly not quite as bad um so again you say there's 45 projects so isn't there a bit of a ch chance one of those 45 something might go wrong with them? a virtual certainty yeah, because so they will cut corners. You can't corners. be around to visit the, someone else has messed it yeah, up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We, yeah, <laughs> I'm like not I saying said, you shouldn't. But yeah, <laughs> like I said uh, last time, we can't control what those other people do. We can only control what we do. Okay? So we're building this machine trying to improve the final outcome. Okay? And we will do it in a quality-driven way, irrespective of what other people are doing. And hopefully they won't cut too many corners and they won't have too many disasters. But they will cut corners, I can guarantee that, because they're, they're profit motivated and they will make sacrifices to the god of first mover advantage. It's, it's certain to happen. But anyway, that's, that's them. I mean, but for what we do, we can control. So, like I say, the potential negative consequences, if we don't do this right, are unimaginable.